first post is going in. We weren't going to do this tonight. Yeah, here we are. <laughs> yeah, we got issues. I'm tired. So yeah, we're going to do that as an angle. Um, do an angle down there. And then we'll have a straight the post going up and then that's where our gate will be and then that one will stay there that pier will go on the other side we'll see danny will be happy better than being on a stupid cable which isn't fair for her i did another thing yeah i got a really good price on a truck full of peat soil manure mulch <laughs> So it's, I got a mixture of things and I've already started to put it in. I got this side just about done. Um, I need to pack it in and fill it up towards the front and then come forward around and then fill in this hole over there. But I'm thinking a lot of the rest of this could go, well, wherever Bigfoot wants it, but um, up in the back of that, uh, waterfall bed after I rake the yard and blow it. Yeah. So good price. Whole truck full. Um, it's, it's really, really nice. And it, when it gets wet, it packs nice, but it still stays loose. If that makes any sense. All right. Well, just kind of sharing doing stuff today and the moths are apparently hitting me upside the forehead. Lake, why are you buying more more trucks full of dirt. I don't know. Okay, we'll see you in a minute. Hot, nice and sticky. Yep, I used the snow shovel. <laughs> so, uh, this is what I've done so far. Put it in the back, all the way around. Made a nice flat surface here, and then tamped it down and brought it down. Tamped that all in. And all I need to do is just spread that, put some different kind of soil in and plant different plants if we want to. But this is a mixture. So it looks like a kind of like a fine, um, kind of like a fine mulch. Um, this is some sand that I brought from back there because I didn't want it all up there. So I'll get the broom and you know, I really need a pressure wash out here. This is just horrendous. Anyway, um, but yeah, so she's all filled in. Um, and then I didn't put down the cover yet, but we still have quite a bit in there. I did use way more than I thought I was going to, but like that little hill outside doesn't need to be there. I just kind of put that there. So we can use it and move it, or we can use it there. It doesn't matter. Now there's some black raspberries that we planted. Um, they need to be cut, and then they'll come back next year. This one died off pretty well. I shouldn't say well, but pretty good. I don't know. And then these ones, these ones are fine. These ones were younger, so they've been set in blackberries, and the kids have been picking them like crazy. And then half of that one didn't work out too well, so we'll clip that. But yeah, most of them, most of them are really, they took the, they took the move well. Others, they went into shock. So I got to get the truck moved from the backyard <laughs> back out. <laughs> so, um. Pier 2, which is no longer Pier 2, it's just the pier. And, uh, I 
Um, they still have quite a bit on the truck, but I put the truck away and that's pretty much where that stuff's gonna stay for now. <laughs> Kind of cute, right? Hey guys, I found him. He's beautiful, but this is our chewer. Yep, nice and big and bright and yep, real pretty. But um, yeah, as you can see, he's been having a very busy, fun day. So he needs to go. And as you can see, he's fighting me. That's all they do is munch, 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 munch. Um, might even be easier if I just uh, pick it off like this, let him munch on it. Um, that's the celery. Let's get him off into the container. This is my drinks for the past couple hours. Yeah, that, my friends, is a big tomato worm yep horned worm whatever um he's gonna go in here because uh if my grandson comes over he'll want to see him yuck 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 Big, bright, and beautiful, but he ate, he was eating that whole sock. So, and he ate that right down. So, um, I know they're kind of neat looking, but that's what those look like. And they are munchers. They would ruin a plant like this with, in probably less than a week. And that's if it didn't stress. So, there's slugs in there. I try to tilt them and put them underneath a leaf, but I am gonna have to put more beer in there because it's a little watered down. So hopefully that's the one that got in here. If there's more, I will find them. It's easier once they get those spots on them to, to spot. No pun intended. But, yep, that's our muncher. I knew I'd find him eventually, but I got lucky. I just kind of happened to come out here and he stuck out like a sore thumb. So, yeah. Um, thought I saw. Okay, that's nothing. Anyway. Let's go, uh, the reason I came out here was not to make a video for y'all, but <laughs> it's always a learning experience because of the rains, those two beautiful heads of hibiscus, um, wilted away, but there's many more to come. <sighs> yeah, I, I was very thirsty and I picked some more strawberries. Um, there's more, but it's waiting. And then usually the chipmunk beats me to it. Anyway, I've been busy today. It is hot, hot, hot. I don't know what we'll do with that pea gravel yet. Probably just put it out there because a lot of that pea gravel we used in between those um, pavers is starting to sink in, so. And going from the rain gutter, we used to have that big tube and now we have that. So I don't know what we'll be doing here. Just thinking maybe dig it out and put some gravel. We have um, that landscaping stuff. Um, so we might put a little bit of that in there, dig through, and I don't know, do something. But anyways, um, I don't think there's going to be much that doesn't get into the rain barrel and then into the pond. I'm pleased. So we would like a top around here to not show the lip like we do a have out front. So I'm not sure if we're going to go with slate or if we're going to go with flat rock. I'm not sure yet. 
because Bigfoot mentioned about having a path going from the uh, fire pit area out to the pond, you know, and then have another one over, over here and another one out there. And I don't know, but I'm starting to gather and soak my moss and put that down there, make everything look like it's been here a long time. That's kind of my goal. Um, this broke and cracked last year, but I put it back together and it'll hold um, until we find another one that's not glass. Yeah. I think it looks pretty cute. It's getting there. So now it's all ready for whatever Bigfoot decides to plant in here to eat, other than the already edible rhubarb. That's really the only thing in here that you can eat. I'm not sure. You can eat tiger lilies and those lilies. That was not a stargazer lily, by the way. Very disappointed, but it is very pretty, so I'm not fully disappointed. But that was supposed, somebody switched the tag. That was supposed to be a stargazer lily. Yeah. It's a big lily, but it's not a stargazer. Stargazers are pink and they have spots kind of like tiger lilies, but they're big like that and pink. Oh well. And the fishies are very, very happy. So we will, we will um, hide that cord. It won't be seen and the rest of it is all buried underneath there. And then I have another whole mess back there to deal with. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of not, not the greatest over here. So, but you know what? We've done a lot of the yard so far. <laughs> 